Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and what I wanted to do real quick was kind of give you a highlight of some of the new capabilities in the in-cockpit nav map. Um, and I'm not real sure what ships have this at this point. I know the Hornet series has it. I'm going to play around with some others. And um, if you guys can, you know, just add into the comments what you've seen in your ships, then please go ahead and share. But ultimately, what you're going to be doing is using your radar globe to kind of give you some increased capabilities so you're not as reliant on your star map, even though that sometimes the star map is probably going to be an easier way to go. So if you hold your um, F key for enter thought and then scroll in, you're going to notice all of a sudden that you've got these different um, options here. You know, set destination, go to my location, nav map scale, and radar scale, um, along with actually a um, kind of like a range slider. So the radar scale is going to be primarily about setting, um, you know, what is going to be in your area and what's going to display. So um, this is showing as far out as I can possibly, or as, I guess, far in as you can possibly go. Um, you can get a kind of a further sense by really scanning out further. Now, you're not going to get something out, you know, in, you know, Hurston by going out to the furthest radar range, but you can see some of the customization as far as what you want to see and give you kind of a, uh, I guess, a scale preference. Um, so if we want to actually look at kind of the nav map scale, um, we can go and zoom out and say, okay, we've got all these different locations that we can kind of see. Um, so we can kind of play around. You can click and rotate the pane of space um, and get a better idea of where you're at. Um, you can actually go ahead and then use your um, slider to scroll in a little bit and get more useful information. Um, so you can see from the cockpit, I can actually go ahead and select uh, Delamar as a location if I wanted to. Um, that's a pretty long quantum jump, so let's scoot in a little bit and find Yella. And we'll go ahead and set Yella as our destination. And now that I've done that, you'll see up in my upper right hand corner up here, um, I've got a green arrow pointing to where Yella is actually located, and then I can actually point at Yella and make a quantum jump. So I think this is pretty cool. Um, I'm a big fan of getting to do more things inside the cockpit, especially if you've got like Track IR or Oculus or something like that. It kind of helps with the overall immersion. Um, but having those types of capabilities actually is going to open things up as far as how you want to play. So, um, you know, basically that's kind of it. That's your, uh, I guess, quick and dirty overview. Um, you know, like I said, you can do different things and it basically acts a lot like the star map. You know, you can go to your location um, and then you can kind of just play with the scale. Um, I'm not sure how useful this is at the moment. I think it's an important development step, but I think it does give you some gameplay opportunities that we didn't necessarily have before. And that's a positive thing. So uh, if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and have yourselves a great day. Take care.